Hey everyone, Dan here with an overview of the new Aurora Optima 365. As of April 2015, this pin has not yet been released, but there are a few retailers currently taking pre-orders. This pin will be limited to 365 pieces worldwide, with far fewer available in the US. So if you like what you see here, you may want to consider pre-ordering just to make sure you get one. I'll provide links to those retailers accepting pre-orders in the description below. There are nine versions of the Optima, including the new 365. The resin collection features a cap and barrel made from jet black resin with gold or rhodium plated trim. The Reflessi has a solid silver cap or a solid silver cap and barrel. The silver collection, which is similar to the Reflessi, but with a very finely engraved guilloche pattern. The Oraloid collection is available in four colors and two trim options. The Optima Demo in two different styles gives you an inside look at all the details. The Optima Mini in a beautiful burgundy Oraloid. The Nero Perla, which features a cracked ice style resin with iridescent and transparent flakes. The Deco with silver, vermeil, and rose vermeil caps. And finally, the 365 in a lovely new resin. Of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the Continents collection, which utilized the Optima as their base design. Every collection I've shown also includes a ballpoint and rollerball, and some even have a pencil, so there's lots of options to choose from. The Optima 365 was created to celebrate those special occasions we want to remember for the rest of our lives. When given as a gift, the feeling of quality and luxuriousness of the pen's presentation will be sure to make that extra special moment even more memorable for you and your loved ones. The brown marbled resin used in the cap and barrel combined with the gold plated trim give the pen a warm and inviting presence. The more you look into the material, the more it reveals its unique characteristics. Unfortunately, I just wasn't able to capture it on video. On the barrel, you'll find Aurora's signature imprint, which all but disappears unless you're in the right light. It very much has the look and feel of a vintage imprint, compared to so many pens today that use laser etching, which just doesn't look as nice to me. On the back side of the top of the cap, you'll find the limited edition number out of 365. The curvaceous clip gives a vivacious appeal while being as practical as any design out there. I had no issue clipping the pin over the thick seam in my jeans pockets or into my favorite pin cases, and there's plenty of tension to keep the pin in place. Continuing down the cap, we can get a close look at the finely detailed engraving on the wide cap band. The Greek key design surrounds the band while the Aurora branding is proudly displayed across the front, centered directly beneath the clip. The black resin section features a comfortable taper and is flanked by a solid 18 karat gold nib and a crystal clear ink window. For those of you who grip the pen a little further back like I do, you'll be glad to know the section threads are shallow and soft, making them very forgiving. The large number 6 size 18 karat gold nib is available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, extra broad, stub, or italic sizes. One of my favorite aspects of the Optima is its size. When capped, it's fairly compact at 127.3 millimeters and fits perfectly in a shirt pocket. Uncapped, it's a very usable 123.3 millimeters, and even with my preference for large pens, I have no issue using it unposted. However, I do prefer to post it where it extends to 154 millimeters in length. I was really impressed with how well the cap posts. It locks onto the rear of the pen like a gator locks onto its last meal. Just listen to this. Hopefully, that sound helps signify how solidly the cap post. Filling the pin is just as enjoyable as every other aspect of it. The piston mechanism is smooth and feels every bit as good as you'd expect from a pin at this price point. Aurora has a unique design that features an ink reserve system. The black stem you can see here through the ink window is part of the feed. Ink can only get to the feed through the top of this stem. As long as the ink level is above the top of the stem, the pin will write normally. When the ink level drops below the top of the stem, the pen acts as if it's out of ink. To access this reserve, operate the piston as if you were emptying the pen. The piston seal will occupy the space below the top of the stem, displacing the ink above the stem and allowing the pen to write normally. The piston knob will then be in the extended position and act as a reminder that you need to refill your pen, and you can still post the cap in this configuration. 
I measured the ink capacity at 1.2 milliliters, which is pretty good considering the size of this pen. It should allow you to write for quite a while, which you'll definitely want to do once you get this pen in your hand. The medium nib I'm using here is a great writer. There's a bit of feedback to the nib, but nothing remotely close to feeling rough or scratchy. It's like writing with a freshly sharpened pencil. Being an 18K nib, there is some deflection if you use a lot of pressure. I wouldn't characterize it as soft, but it's not a nail either. Flow was just a bit on the wet side, which is just the way I like it. If every pen performed as well as this straight out of the box, we'd all be happy campers. The Optima 365 will sell at a list price of $7.95, with most retailers offering a 20% discount. The Optima really is an outstanding pen, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. It's been around for a long time, and there's a lot of positive reviews out there. If you like this one, don't hesitate, because as limited as it is, it won't last long.